In the summertime, we have warm, humid air outside, and it's cool in our crawl space. We know that, it's always cool down there. So if we take warm, humid air, and we move it into an environment that has cool air in it, moisture moves from wet to dry, and warm air rises. Those are two basic principles that we can't get around. So the concept that they're hoping for is by putting in more holes in the exterior walls of the crawl space, that the wind will come through, pick up the moisture, and then push it out the other side of the other vent. By putting more holes in the wall, you're just letting more moisture in. So that's what's happening in the summertime. So we're actually moisture loading, and that's why we have so many complaints in the summertime of musty smelling crawl spaces. Lots of moisture coming in, cold area becomes damp, and then the wood starts becoming musty. In the winter time, those vents let in cold air. There are some vents out there where you can close that little, that little slider to close and whatever. You still get the cold air in, which of course just works its way right through the bath insulation and you don't have any insulation layer. In it. Now our floors are cold. And then of course the homeowner turns up the heat, creates more heat upstairs, which just rise up faster and then pulls in more cold air into the crawl space. It's just a really dumb idea. Like I can't even, I can't think of a polite way of saying it other than vented crawl spaces to the outside. It's just a dumb idea. So we like to treat our crawl spaces like a basement. Well insulated, airtight, draft proof, keep the moisture out, get those vents closed. You still have to ventilate your crawl space. There's a variety of circulation systems available, a dehumidifier, which can move some air around, heat recovery ventilators. And the last point to have on that is, we see a lot of crawl spaces where they have the ductwork running through the crawl space. So the insulation is in the ceiling and they have their furnace in the crawl space with a vents to the outside, with a cold air blowing in the winter time. Well, that furnace has to work its little patootie off in order to deliver warm air through the cold crawl space upstairs. Heated crawl spaces, especially with ductwork in it, they need to be insulated on the walls, have a moisture barrier on the floor so the dampness stays out, and then your furnace will just work so much easier to keep that home warm and comfortable and toasty and dry.